Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be adding some water droplets to a beer can which I've prepared here. So, first thing I want to do is create our water droplets using the sphere tool. And I'll call everything a tool, I know it's an object thing, but whatever. And just make this a little bit smaller. We're going to make it editable. And we're going to just zoom in a little bit. I've got a reference image here, just so that I can see roughly what I'm working with. And just going to try and kind of replicate this. So we'll get our sphere going on and we're going to add a taper to that sphere. From this menu here, drop the taper in, fit to parent, and let's make our sphere a little bit oblong. That'll do. Now make our taper so that we can, yeah, not too much. And I think we're good. So now we have our sphere, let's just current state to object that. And we'll delete the original and now we're going to just duplicate the sphere. So obviously on the uh, reference image we've got droplets of varying sizes. So we obviously want to kind of replicate that. And we're just going to make that smaller. And the next one can be smaller still. And we'll have three different objects in our cloner. So we'll just add a cloner here. There is a shortcut that you can use to add directly to the cloner. But if you if you try and highlight all three, it will create three separate cloners. So just to bear that in mind, you hold the option key and click the cloner while you've got an object highlighted and it will just drop it straight in there. Um, one, two, three, why are you still there? Okay, so we want the object mode. So we'll go from mode grid to object. We will choose the can main shape as our object and then it will start to apply our cloner objects to the can. Okay, so I've got my water texture there and ready to go, but obviously that's going to make these transparent and hard to see. So I'll I'll set the I'll set the geometry up first, and then we'll um we we'll look into kind of you know making it making it transparent. So and this obviously gives me the option then here to change the size of my spheres on the fly, so that um, we it gives me a little bit of a better chance to optimize. So and these are looking pretty good. There's a lot more on these than there is on my one, but I haven't increased the number of clones yet. And also, I'd quite like to have a, a maybe a few more of the small ones than I do of the big ones. So the small ones are going to populate a lot more density. So if I just make sure I've got these and then copy paste again and make sure they're actually in the cloner, that'll be good. And we can increase our clone amount to maybe 10k. See what happens there. And obviously we've got quite a lot going on there. So we might want to reduce the size of these, of these clones. And we'll see what we can do about reducing the size of them. You've got to just kind of work on the fly sometimes. Never does you any harm. Taste as you go, as the chef would say. We've got 10,000 clones there. I reckon that's probably roughly what we've got here in terms of count. So we'll just add our water texture onto the cloner. And that'll, um, that'll give us a nice wet can. So that's basically it. Let's just let that render quickly. So we've we've now got our can that's all nice and wet. And um, I'm just going to hit render on this and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe and um, have a great time out there in your creative journey. And I will catch you next time. All the best. Bye bye.